TLDR, here we are. It, uh, looks like this might be hand warmers. What? Strong bad. B A D capital B. <laughs> Strong bad. Gotta say it quicker. Anyways, we gotta figure it out right there. All right, good thing we're doing hand warmers because we had to have those uh, tongue cancel warm ups. But nonetheless, now one thing to note though about this matchup, up throw up air will kill Game and Watch pretty much right now, and I'm sure yeah. we're gonna see Strong Bad looking for it. Yeah, Might get it right there, right here, right here, right here. Oh no, he goes for the down throw. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna kill combo in 86. I believe it does, because the knockback growth is very low. I could be wrong on that, but we'll see later in the set. I'm sure if it does exist, he will go for it. But also noting, earlier in the set, we saw a lot of down smashes. He wants to keep Game & Watch on the ground, where he can get a lot of tech chases, like this, like this. He wants to be able to keep him on the ground, because Game & Watch in the air is not something you want to combat. Yeah. He's the kind of character. Exactly. If you try and combat or trade with him in the air, you will lose every time. That's how his beat. He's a lot like Ganondorf in that in that uh, in that fashion. You get that forward air, that neutral air, tons of damage, lots of knockback, and just great kid overall. Ooh, and Gimp at 112%. Not so much a Gimp, but Strong Bad ends up taking the stock nonetheless. Three to two. Strong Bad with a pretty decent lead, but Loyal looking. To, uh, to stay in this game. Gets a couple of up airs. Nice, this is the up air we were talking about, and let's see something loyal. There it is, 86% tacked on, beautiful. Hello. We have got Do Docs now on the mic, boys. Docs. Known by Docs. And so far right now, we have got Loyal versus Strong Bad, and Strong Bad, just uh, a little bit flatulent, takes the stock from Loyal. Yeah, this game's actually going by pretty fast. Uh, faster than what I expect to worry about. Wow, nice Dacus. That's another thing that Royal does not use the hammer. It's a really, really, really good Right, so long as you don't get the one, the option is probably yeah, going to be pretty I mean, good. So, like, eight of nine, that's pretty good odds. Right, right. It's the up throw. Going to get some combos going with the up airs. There's the parachute and the forward air, and Royal trying to bring this back with Strong Bad, continuing to tack on some extra credit. Tries to kick him with the side. Oh. Wow, and he almost, almost got hit by that down smash. Up throw. Oh, no up there. Right, well, we were we were wondering earlier, is that guaranteed? I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, there looked like it. He might have been a little bit slow. Okay. Yeah. But uh, nonetheless, that's going to take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good on strong bad. That was a lot closer than I expected. Absolutely. Uh, but, like, Loyal's a really good player. By the way, Zach. Zach. Exactly. It says R bracket. Which round is it? Round one, yeah? So... So right now, as far as stages are concerned, already banning large stages. Game & Watch, you know, he may be a glass cannon, but with the bucket break, it's... you can live a long time. But, this is usually the counter pick that Loyal takes any time he loses a set. Yeah, I mean, Loyal, his combos are really solid, and platforms seem to only interrupt him. Yeah, it's really easy for him to get those pillar up and down combos. We'll probably see a lot of those in this game. Absolutely, and we'll see uh, we'll see a lot of players like Sosa and Strong Bad when they play Wario. They like to kind of move around in the air, just like that. They'll zip around, try and get a little bit of hits, eminis reminiscent rather of Jigglypuff, but using Final Destination. But using Final Destination, you can use Bacon. Loyal is able to use Bacon. Wow, nice command grab. Much more effectively, and even stuff some of those aerial approaches of just floating towards him. So. Definitely a stage benefiting him. Probably missed an input with that last up smash. Um, but looks like maybe one more up air backer is going to take it. Edge guard, edge guard in game launch is really, really, really hard. Well, nonetheless, strong bad does it, and that'll take the first stock. Shows off a little bit of, a little bit of crouching. Actually, uh -oh. that was that this was should really be good. the stock. No, misses the parachute. Loyal. So what strong bad did was he was above loyal, and normally. 
Wario kind of like conditions you to stay in your shield when you're when he's above you because of the threat of the down air. But what Loyal did is he just spot dodged when Strongback came down to fight, and that was like that's a really good play. All right, he pulls out that scuba diver's helmet, swings it, takes Strongback's first stock. Go back, three stocks apiece. Yeah, this is still really even. Goes for the back throw, it seems, and Wario didn't really have to worry too much about that. Made it back on fairly safely. Yeah, luckily Strongbat died really well for that. It is a bit of a mix-up, but he can always just up throw and get guaranteed combos. Of course. Oh, waste the fart, unfortunate. Goes for another hammer, pretty random and neutral. Oh, up air takes it. Yeah, up air is really strong. There it is. Five. It's really good. Right. There are two. Actually, there are two types of hits though that you're going to see with the up air. If you get the tip of the fingers, basically, that is the strong hit. But then if you get the side, like right here, especially on a floated character like Game Watch, it combos incredibly well, and that's where Wario starts shining. Because. And that's where Wario starts to shine because he can get anything like a neutral air, maybe even a fart or a bite to pull him back onto the stage or off a potential Ooh. platform. And there's the bite. Strongman's really creative with his bites. He always combos into it. Oh, ooh, ooh makes nice. it back. Good meteor cancel. Really good sweet spot. Again with the spot dodging, Royal seems to have picked up on something. That's really good against Royal for the most part. Right now, trying to search for something, but that up B tacks on a little bit more extra credit. Or uh, yes, rather yes. damage. Ooh. Oh, I need taunts for good measure. But... Will he take the stock right now? He has a fully charged fart at this point. Probably come into it out of a lot of moves, actually. Um, gotta catch back to Ido. Ooh, five. A lot of shield summer man. And probably back. Nope, up throw. No, yeah, definitely way too high a percentage for that yeah, to connect. I don't know if that was the right choice at all, actually. He was going for down throw like we saw earlier. Probably they could put up a tech chase, but near the ledge, not sure if that would have been the best option. Ooh, that was interesting, too. Shot him right to the ledge. And Ooh, that yeah. should no, just barely. Good DI from Loyal. Does a little and twerk near the ledge and then ends up grabbing yeah. it. But Loyal still on the stage. Back throw? No, that's not too that's strong of a kill throw. Strongman is just struggling to get. Ooh, there Ooh, you go. There it is. Strong nair. Good old nair. Covers a lot of space. Shot a bad. Up throw looks for the up air. Doesn't quite get it. Rolling around. Oh, this is down here. Probably just. I guess that Loyal is trying to. Uh, this is kind of weird percent for Game Watch, too. Can't really do a long combo. Oh, yeah, the down air into the waft. That is a 2 0. That was really good. Strong Bat takes it. Good stuff on Strong Bat. It was good for both players. I guess I'm heading out. Alright. Alright, so. Uh, up next, looks like we've got IPK versus... Oh, hold up. Is this IPK or am I that mixing is, up? That is Spark. Spark, okay. S Spark is... Um, oh, Spark and Junebug, actually. Okay, maybe Spark we Spark is a, not a particularly well-known player because he mostly plays Melee. So really only in the past, like, three months, maybe maybe six months that he's gotten a Project M. But he's translated his me Melee Chic over into Project M pretty well. We're going to notice a lot of um, edge guarding from this guy and a lot of... Um, Follow-ups on, on on grabs. That's mostly what he goes for. Needles, grabs, and uh, edge guards. Of course, of course. Most chic players, of course, have the very solid fundamentals. And if you are off stage.